all right guys welcome to the channel we are in Glenna Ohio and we have found a doozy of an old one here very nice old cemetery and we're gonna get in here and start checking it out it'll probably take me a couple days to film it but we'll see we'll move along and see how it goes all right let's the equipment holds up I will not be using the new gimbal because the wind is blowing pretty hard down here and it's just gonna cut in and out so I'm just gonna have to deal with the old one. But this is William. It's gonna be Nelly, 1862 to 1947. And it's gonna be Frank, 1879 to 1951. Then we got a beautiful old stone here. Shame you can't read it. I've never seen one like this one. Right here. But is that not pretty? That is awesome. All right, let's move on. Then we got a couple we can't read right here. Right there. And that's same with going to be on the same as this one. There are going to be a lot of old ones that we're not going to be able to see. But, you know, we just have to take them as we can get them. Here's our next one. And I'm not sure exactly when they died. Something down at the bottom, August the 25th, 18. I don't know. I can't really tell. Almost looks like a 26, but I wouldn't swear to it. All right, then this is Jane, born uh, March 19th, 1793, and died December the 21st, 1875 on this one right here. And then uh, uh, her husband's gonna be a Revolution War. It's gonna be Henry Slack. Born October the 22nd, 1784, and died, it looks like, June the 1st, I want to say 1830 on that one. That's what it says. There it is. All right. Then we have something, Bigelow. They died September the 27th, 1849, at 54 years and 8 months. Then we have... Oh, uh, I'm not sure on that name. Anyways, they died October the 7th, 1833, at 37 years of her age. Then you have Harriet, the wife of Mr. Bigelow, died May the 4th, 1849, at 25 years and 10 months. There is some oldies in this one, guys. We ain't going to be able to see some of them. They're so old. Here's another Revolution War one. It's going to be uh, this one right here. But I can't see the name. Anyways, he died in 1838, June the 13th, 18, at 74 years. On this one right here, guys. And there's his placard, 1776. Then you got Dola. Dolan or something like that. She's the daughter of the guy. And she died February the 16th, 1844 at 17 years. Uh, six months and nine days on that stone right there. Then you got Jane Ann. She's the wife of Dr. A. Bigelow. And she died June the 28th, 1851 at 40 years. Then you have... Henry C. Bigelow died September the 28th, 1863, at 21 years and six months. He's a Civil War veteran on that stone right there. Then you have, can't see to read it, but there it is. So a lot of these are real low, guys. This one's broke off. So we're going to make sure we land on all of them. Then we have Carpenter, we have Reverend Gilbert, right there, and then we have Sarah, his wife, February the 22nd, 1817, age 71 years, so she died in 1817, guys, on that stone right there. Then we have this one. 
So 1817 has been our oldest one so far here. Wow. That's something. This is, ooh, I am not sure of the name. Anyways, they were born March 26, 1795, and died August 25th, 1821, at the age of 31 years, one month, and 28 days. Then we have this one, gonna be a child or an infant. Then you have this one. It says mother. That's all I can see is it says mother. There it is. All right. This must be a very old town. I don't know exactly. This is walk softly and an angel st sleeps here. Kenneth Earl Wagon Wagnerton Wagner or something like that, February 26, 1964, to October the 23rd, 1964, on that one. Then we have, I'm not sure. They died in 1817 on this one. Right there at the crack, you'll see the 17. All right, this one died in 1840. Three, it's harmony or something like that on this one. That's all I can see on a harmony. All right, guys, this is our next one. Well, that's pretty stone. This is Miss Martha. She's the wife of. It looks like Peter Bennett, and she died October the. Looks like the 1st or the 11th, 1860 on that one. Then this one here, uh, I'm not sure on the name. They died in October the 17th, 18, no, October the 1st, 1860 on that one. Right there. This is unusual. One right here. I can't really see to read it, but there it is. All right, this is kind of up and down the hill, so I gotta kind of watch it, don't walk. Uh, I can't really read that one, it's too far gone. A lot of these are so old, we're gonna lose a lot of them. It's a shame too. Here's Henry Carpenter. He died March the 25th, 1823. A, a, uh, I don't know what the AE stands for. 20 years, five months, and something days on that one. Wow, that's something, guys. Then we have a Civil War veteran right here on this one. Oscar Weeks, I believe it's his. Oscar F. Weeks is his name. All right. Then we have Edison uh, Carrier died August the fifth, August the fifth, eighteen twenty-eight. He was forty-seven years, five months, and fifteen days. On oh, it's down right here, guys. Then you have I ain't never seen one like this one. And they died in 1821. Well, it's two people actually, I believe. Looks like one died in 1825 and the other one died in 1821 on this one. Wow. Then we have Sally. She's the wife of Addison Carver. She died September the 13th, 1836. On that stone right here, guys. Then we have Chuck, I think. Anyways, he died August the August eleventh, 
1830 on this one. Then we have Jane. I believe she's the daughter of S and M Car Gar Carver. And she died February the 26th, 1846, at 20 years on that one. Then we have a child or an infant on this one, probably. Let's see if we do. They were born in 1802 and died September the 2nd, 1852. So no, they were 50 years old. That's Samuel. Rest in peace, Samuel. Then we have a... One here that don't even have a date, it's just carved out by, by looks like chisel on that one. <clears throat> then we have a child here that died in December the 29th, 1963. David Allen on that one. Then we have I'm not sure on this one. Is it going to be a child or an infant on that one? And then this is Mary. I'm not sure on the last name. 1832 to 1921. Then we have another Revolution War. This is the third one. It's going to be Samuel Leonard. He died November the 16th, 1859. At 72 years, 5 months, and 16 days. He was in the uh, Revolution War and the War of 1812, both. All right. This is Nancy. I'm not sure of the last name. That's Nancy. That's all I can see is Nancy. This is a cool looking stone. I've not seen any like this one. And this is. I can't pronounce it. Anyways, his last name's Leonard. He died June the 8th, 1859 on this one right here. Then you have, uh, I'm not sure. Then you have John on this one. No, it's Sarah. It's the wife of John. She died in 18 and 25 or three I'm not sure what it is and John was a, a Revolution War veteran so that is the fifth one so far in this cemetery already guys if you're keeping track the fifth Revolution War soldier already in this cemetery within the thir first 30 minutes that's crazy ain't it then we have this one I don't see any names or anything on it. That was the side with the writing too. So that's one we can't see. All right. Here's our next one. It's gonna be a Daniel. He's the son of Mr. James and Miss Elizabeth Carpenter. He died August 21st, 1812 at the age of five months on that one 1812 then we have mr james carpenter he died died october the 5th 1821 at 49 years on that one right there guys awesome stone then we have william uh, i'm not sure uh downing or something like that Anyways, looks like he died uh, maybe May the 3rd, 1867 on that one. Then we have in Inch, or something like that. He died in 1864, but I'm not sure of the month. Oh, this is a cool one. This is for an aunt that died. Looks like she died in 1835, February the 23rd, I believe, on the ant here then we have Jane she's the wife of Dominic or something like that and I can't really tell on the wife when she died maybe 1836 I see down at the bottom 
I'm not sure. This is Charles Dominin or something like that. He departed this life September the 29th, 1831. He was 20 years old and three months on that stone right there, guys. Wow. Then we have Jane. She's the daughter of F and A Donnyman. And she died April the 1st, no, April the 18th, 1841. At 16 years, three months and five days. Then we have Franny. She's the daughter of E and J Donnyman. Died February the 5th, 18. I'm gonna say that's it, 45 instead of 15 at 35 years and 22 days, but I wouldn't swear to it. Of course they do the normal, blow it on the stones instead of blow it away. Can't tell on that one, really, whether you sweep it or not. Same with this one. It's gonna be two children, I believe. Then we have Bailey. We have Zia, 1896 to 1982, and Harrison, 1893 to 1965. Next name's going to be, what, Bank or something like that? No. It's going to be Rank. Rank? Ranch? Rank or something like that. It's Otis. April the 25th, 1871 to April the 1st, 18, uh, 1965. It's going to be Ida, November the 6th, 1875 to December the 30th, 1950. <laughs> then we have Mose Carpenter. Died November the 8th, 1859 at the age of 76 years and 8 months. He is a Revolution War veteran as well, so that makes six of them already. Then we have, I am not sure on this one, they, best I can tell, they died December the 9th, 1848, but I am not sure on the name, I can't make it out that well. But it's the wife of Moe's Carpenters, that's all I can see on that one. Then this one here, it's uh, Benjamin. He's the son of Mose and Deborah Carpenter. And he died August the 22nd, 1827 on that one. All right. Then we have Elsie Knight McKenzie, 1946 to 1972 on that one. Then we have Ralph Smith. He departed this life on the 15th day of March, 1827 at 67 years. That is a beautiful old stone. and Almost to be 200 years old, that is held up great. And four more years, that'll be 200 years old, guys. Look how well that stone has held up. Wow. Then we have another one here that's broke off. You can't read it, but there it is. All right. Another one right here that's worn where you can't read it. But they died in 1822. You can't tell that. All right. Then we have Elikio or something like that, Brown, on this one. And I believe this is for his wife, Joan. Anyways, he was in the Revolution War, March 13th, 1760 to April 21st, 1841. So that is seven so far for the Revolution War already. That's crazy. That's the most Revolution War ones I've had in one cemetery already. And we got a ton more cemetery to still cover. This is Cook. It's Capa, Capital. 1861 to 1919 and Frank 1864 to 1932 then we have Robert B what we will will am died November the 10th 1846 at the age of 23 years on this one then we have I have no idea beside him but it's I believe it's his wife and she died March the 1st 1847 on that one then we have, 
I don't know, some carpenter here, died in 1860, February, I want to say February the 20, no, February the 13th, that looks like a 13 to me on that one. All right, guys, let me see where we're at. Oh, we're only 20 minutes in. We've uncovered, uncovered seven Revolution War people already. That's crazy. We got a lot of walking doing this one, too. Then we have Ch Charlie. He died uh, maybe October the 8th, 1866 on this one. Right here, good looking stone. Then we have father and mother on this one. This is George D W. Ginn. He died November the 11th, 1888, at 49 years, six months, and 26 days. Then mother, mother's over here. We ain't gonna be able to read mother, but she's over here on this side, right there. This is a cool looking infant stone. I've not seen any like this one, like that, with a scroll. It's wore completely down. I don't know what year it is, but there it is, guys. Then we have Philip uh, Plank. I believe it's Philip P. Plank on this one. And Philip P. Plank died in 18, I don't know, 1880, just says 18 in a D. So I don't know. I don't know when Mr. Plank died. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I do too. It's up here. I don't know what that is. It's going to be 18, 1828. That's a two and that's eight. So May the 24th, so that's a two and that's a four, 1828 on that one, guys. Then we got Daniel J. Carpenter. He died uh, March, uh, looks like uh, 1st, 1852. He was in the War of 1812 on that one. Then we have, this is going to be Miss Rhonda, and she died in 1815, right here, but I was trying to see, she's something to Sarah Carpenter, I don't know if it's the daughter or what, but she died in 18, 1815 down here. All right, guys. Then we have, what, Chet Shelton? I can't really tell much on him. Can't see it too well. Them kind of stones, they wear off pretty bad. And then we have, I'm not sure on this one either. They died in 1850-something, the best I can tell, March the 20th. All right. Then we have Emma Pierce. She died September the... Uh, 13th, 1852 at maybe 83 years, 8 months, and 27 days on that one. And if she's the only one that's on her. Then we have Catherine, the wife of A. Pierce. Died in 1870 at 56 years, maybe 2 months and 3 days. Then we have uh, Arthur Pierce, I believe. He died May the 31st, 1866, at 74 years, four months, and seven days. Then we have, I have no idea on this one. But there they are. They were, it looks like they were only 45 years, three months, and 22 days, but that's all I can really tell on that one. It's another wife of him, but I can't tell who. All right. <coughs> Then we have Jane. She's the daughter of, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, she died December the 29th. Looks like 1845, I'm gonna say on that one. Then this is Jay Patterson. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like it says they died in 1815. Uh, maybe November the 6th, but I wouldn't swear to that one. This is a child or an infant. I can't really tell much on that. This is going to be a child or an infant on this one, too. They died in 1845 or 48, December the 16th. And this is a child or an infant. I can't really tell much on it. 
All right, then we have two more child and infants down here at the end right here. Gonna be one right here, I can't really tell much about, except that's Frank, I believe. And then you got this one. All right, guys. Well, look at this stump looking one, guys. I've never seen one with a Bible on top of it and it'd be a stump too. That's an awesome looking stone. That is a unique one there. That's gonna belong to Jethro G. Goodrich. And I want to say he died in 1941, but I wouldn't swear to it. He's born in, well, no, there's two or three people on here. Wait a minute. He was born in 1861 and died in 1908. Then uh, Smothers or something like that. His wife or something was born in 1867 and died in 1941 or something like that. It's hard to see that one, so I don't really know. You be the judge on that one right there. All right, here's our next one. It's going to be another good rich. 1833 to 1903. And then we have Emily good rich, 1836 to 1913. Then we have a bunch of grass blowed on them right here. We can't see them. I don't know why they do that. This one died in 1840. Uh, Charles. I needed to bring a broom, evidently. And this one here, they died in 1851, June the 15th. I'm not sure of the name. Then we have 1855 to 1940 on Mary Etta Pierce on this one. Then we have Sarah Pierce, 1828 to 1905. Then we have, what, Gills Pierce. He died November 21st, 1859 on this one. It looks like it's 25 years. Then, I really can't tell on this one, guys. It's breaking my back trying to brush them off. These are child and infants, more than likely. Hope you guys can see them. I don't know why they p persist on blowing the grass towards something. You can turn the lawnmower the other way and blow it away from the stones, but why everybody wants to blow it on it, I don't know. Beats them far out of me. At least have a decency to bring a blower back down and blow them off. This is Sarah, the wife of John P Jonathan Pierce, 1852 to 1933. All right, guys. Let's move on. This is a nice cemetery here. Not mowed good, but been growed up and cut. But it's nice as far as old stones. All right, this is Nicholas. It's gonna be Charles, 1882 to 1949, and Ethel, 1883 to 1952. Then we have Mary, no it ain't either, it's Mamie. P. Nichols, 1911, it's a child. All right, let's see what this placard is. I'm afraid to say without looking at these, they're gonna be Civil War, okay. Wanna make sure before I call them. This is gonna be John Leary, 1840 to 1902, he is Civil War. Elizabeth, 1847 to 1922. Last name's Leary. This is a good looking stone. James, 1872 to 1947. And Ella, M, 1873 to 1908. And see, they even blow it away up on that stone. Crazy how they do that. Why you can't blow it away, I don't know. Then you have Bennett. You have Dora, 1865 to 1943. You have Frank, D. 1864 to 1955, and you have Ido, Ilo, 1888 to 1957, that's their daughter. All right, then we have Letta Burnett Jennings, 1893 to 1991, and I'm gonna say it's April the 15th to August the 4th on those dates. We're not gonna be able to read this one. 
but there it is. All right. Then we have humans. Humans. We have Bird C, 1868 to 1923, and Emily, 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 his wife, 1867 to 1956. Then we have humans again. We have the daughter, Zora F, 1904 to 1986. Then we have Jorge Schaff, 1878 to 1938. Then we have Schaff again. We have William J, 1831 to 1909. And Amy, his wife, 1852 to 1911. And just think, I come close to not coming to this one. I had thought about passing it on up and going to my destination I had picked. I'm kind of glad I pulled off now. This is Clyde F. Cunningham, 1900 to 1958. Then I don't know what this says. Uh, I can't read the bottom ones, they're too little. But there they are, guys. All right. Let's get this, uh, finish this row, and we may have to start a new video. Not going to be able to read this one much. It's way down there. There it is. All right, then we have Martin. We have Penelope, 1890 to 1954, and Earl H, 1880 to 1942. Then we have more with the grass on them. Uh, this is just says mother. So I don't know if you can see anything on mother or not. There it is. And it says fa uh, James. So I don't really say father, it just says James. There it is. All right. Then we have probably end up having to take my shoes off today to be able to walk these banks. This is Hazel, Hazel Reed, uh, Reed 1889 to 1967. Then we have George Fox, 1849 to 1932. Then we have Marla Fox, 1853 to 1928. Look at this, this is ridiculous. How they blow it, Amana. This is Hoover, Ira J. Catherine, well, we got Ira J first, 18, 1895 to 1953, and Catherine S, 1903 to 1959. Then we have Bud on this one. We have Inman, 